Hi, I'm Dave Cross. I'm pleased to share with you a technique courtesy of Illustrator Techniques newsletter. Check out illustratortechniques.com to find out about this newsletter and associated website. So check it out. Here we go. I'm going to see how we can create a nice three-dimensional banner taking advantage of the 3D effects in one extra little special part of Adobe Illustrator. So what we're going to need to do here is create the banner as if we're looking at it from the top down. So I'm going to create the little kind of curly Q end on one side. Now I want to create the other side. So one of the simple ways to do that is I'll take my reflection tool. If I hold down the Option key on the Mac Alt for Windows and click, that will open up a dialog box. And now I can just say vertical copy. So now I've got a quick way to have a copy right between the two. So now we'll take our pen tool. Now you notice I'm not going to try and draw this in one shot because if I try, try to add on the end of this shape it could mess up my uh, work completely. So I'm just going to basically create a straight line kind of roughly the size that I want but I want this to also curve. So I'm going to use this convert anchor point tool and basically just pull down here a little bit come to the other end and pull down, whoops, pull there to get a little curve happening. Now I'll take my direct selection tool and kind of position it roughly where I want. Kind of getting close. I'll just worry about this end first. And I'm going to get really close but not try to put it together. I'm going to let photo, uh, Illustrator, I almost said Photoshop, Illustrator do this for me and then press two shortcuts. Command or Control L is called Average and that will find one point that's the average between them and then Command or Control J will actually join them together. I'm going to take this side and move it just a little closer and do the same thing. Just drag across those two anchor points, L, J. So now I have my basic shape. And with that in mind, I just need to select it, go to the Effect menu and choose 3D, Extrude, and Bevel. Which brings up this giant box. I'll barely be able to see it. I'll have to move it down here because basically the important thing is really just turning on the preview button and then playing with this rotation until I get the effects that I want. I want to kind of see, you know, the look of the ribbon and I, you can angle it, do whatever you want, but basically you're going to find the right angle for you until it looks the way that you want. That looks pretty good right there. So I'll click OK. I could stop right there, but I want to add some text to this banner, and it's really easy to do that. Just simply get your type tool and type whatever you want it to say, and choose the color you want. So I'll just pick some color. And basically at this point, all I need to do is turn this into a symbol. Here's my symbol palette. I don't need to create outlines or anything. I just drag it right in there, and it creates this thing called a symbol. Now at this point, I can actually delete the original text, because now it's pretty easy for me to put this onto here. And all I have to do is use this palette right here, the Appearance Palette. If I click on it, you'll see there's my original Extrude and Bevel. So I just double click on this to bring me back to the 3D effect. Turn on Preview again, and you'll see one of the options is called Map Art. So if I click on that, it brings up yet another dialog box. And what you have to do is go through all these surfaces until you find the right one. Now, the trick is you have to kind of watch my monitor so small here where I'm filming, but basically I can tell you, generally speaking, the front surface is one of, if not the last one. So there's the surface I want there, and I'm going to just pick that symbol that I just created, new symbol one, and you can all see in the background, I can use scale to fit if I want to, and then basically click OK and OK, and there we go. Just like that we have a 3D banner with type on it. And if you want to change the type, you just have to make a new symbol and put that on. So pretty simple to do. Make sure you go and visit illustratortechniques.com. There is a free forum where you can share some ideas. But if you join, you get access to the uh, magazine. You get the magazine and also free tutorials one a week on the website, plus a whole lot more. Check it out.